we're visiting this morning with Ms. Ann Morrison. Ann is the proprietor of the excellent website, homeland-defense, number four, letter U dot com. Ann is an engineer, Ann is a scientist, and she spends a lot of time keeping current on the things that concern us, especially earth changes uh, involving earthquakes, volcanoes, bizarre weather events, related matters. Good morning, Ann. How are you? Good morning, John. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about this uh, super volcano that they've discovered in Bolivia. And it's okay. just past the, ch the border with Chile, so it's very close to the, it's in the Andes. Now this is not this is not, I'm going to repeat this, this is not a um, seismic um, plate boundary. Okay, the, the right. seismic plate boundary between the Pacific Ocean plate and the South American plate is out in the ocean off of the coast of Chile. We have satellites, and the satellites are um, are always looking down at the Earth, and they're they're surveying it, and they they can detect elevation changes in the Earth. And they discovered one in this at uh, Uturuncu volcano in Bolivia. And like I said, it's very close to um, Chile, the top of Chile, and it's in the Andes Mountains. They think this the magma, the pocket. Well, they're calling it a pocket of magma. I think we would call it a chamber beneath the uh, Uturuncu is growing by about, now hold on to your hats, 27 cubic feet per second. Okay. So it's, it's <laughs> you're not even astonished. Okay, so they've they designated Uber Uderunku, and you know, Uber is a German word that means um, the biggest, <laughs> okay. the one, the fiercest, maybe right, the fiercest right. would be better. Right. And um, they say that it, the volcanoes will hoard magma for about 300, thousand years before they blow, and the last time that uh, Uber Yuta Runku erupted was 300,000 years ago. So they're, uh -huh. they're scrambling because they only have 20 years of satellite data, and you know, if we didn't have these satellites measuring the deformation of the Earth, we wouldn't have known about it. Right. You know, this is only something that could have been detected from space. Right. So they're, um, they're combining data from uh, other sources, seismic data, GPS data, even if you can believe this, minute variations in gravity to find right. out when and why this mountain awoke from its 300,000 year long slumber and to predict uh, whether it will become a super volcano or not. There aren't a lot of them, and I looked at Yellowstone, there were no, um, the, the swarm at Yellowstone has died down. However, there was a swarm in Hawaii and a swarm in the North Atlantic at Iceland the Hawaii swarm peaked at uh, on the 20th, uh, which was yesterday, and they okay. had 43 earthquakes, and uh, most of them were about 10 miles deep, which is not shallow enough to really be of too much concern. I mean, it's, okay. you know, it would be if there, the one that happened out at the Canary Islands, it got down. To, it was at five miles deep before you know, there was an eruption. Now, there was also, at Iceland, we're worried about uh, Hakla, Katla. Katla, right. <laughs> they have Katla and Hekla. <laughs> so Katla, and there were, on the, uh, the day before that, there were 147 earthquakes. And these are more worrisome because they are closer to the surface. They're like three miles down. So mm -hmm. we have, in the middle of the Pacific, we have a swarm, and then we also have a swarm around Iceland in the North Atlantic. So there's a lot of seismology, and of course we're worried about Katla because... And we are out of time. <laughs> okay, John. <laughs> we'll do a lesson radio later today with Dr. Deagle. Everybody, thank you, Ann. Uh, we'll, everybody be safe out there. For those of you behind enemy lines, remember, the chair is in the window. Buy lots of ammunition. Never give up your guns. And God bless America.